Hi guys, this is Zonal Fear. Today I'm going to be playing Frostpunk again and seeing what we can do in order to survive in the last city. Today I'll be playing the PS4 version of the game. I actually purchased the PS4 version, the complete, I'm not sure if it's called the complete collection, the complete edition, but right now until tomorrow, the 3rd of July, Frostpunk is just over £5 on the PlayStation Store and that includes all of the, the base game and all of the DLC and I would highly recommend it. Today we're going to be starting a new game, a new home on the PlayStation 4. This obviously works on the PS5 as well and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what I've learned in my previous playthroughs and hopefully complete this first opening scenario. Now I did actually play this yesterday on PC. I did have a fair amount of success actually. I, I did better yesterday than I have done in a very long time. I did record it too. Unfortunately the audio quality isn't quite where I want it to be at. So it's a shame but it's a, an hour and a half of video that um, it's unlikely I will be putting up on YouTube as I don't feel that the audio quality was really there. Hopefully that's something that I've addressed a little better today. Let's get on with it. So my first priority is going to be to build shelter, to secure our coal supplies, uh, wood and steel works. Fight the cold. Okay, so one of the things that on my first playthrough of Frostbunk I had an issue with um, was that I didn't have enough homes and people succumbed to the cold uh, while I was playing. That's not going to be the case today. However, what we're going to do right now is focus on getting the generator on. That's the most important thing, otherwise people are just going to freeze regardless. Let's get some wood in as well. We're going to need plenty of that. And go on to the steel wreckage too. And let's start time. So we can get this going as quick as we can. Need the generator to come online as soon as possible otherwise people are going to freeze so I've got some wood here what I'm going to do is you going to have to bear with me um, I'm not as familiar with the controls on the console version so it might look a bit disjointed did I actually send them over to a coal pile? no wood crates okay that would explain why I'm not actually getting coal, so off that you go. And let's hit the coal pile over here. As we're going to need those two coal piles right next to each other for the gathering post. Okay, yeah, but I don't need to know about that. I'm a little familiar. We'll have two days to build shelter for 40 people. Okay, well, we can do that right now. So let's build tents. Not a huge fan of these things. And we have five coal at the moment. Oh really guys, do you Okay. So because of my mistake with the wood crates, I'm gonna to have to enact a law already. And we're gonna need an emergency shift on the coal to get the generator on and keep it on. So I'm starting off by upsetting people <laughs> quite considerably already. But it's the end of the world guys and needs must. We need that generator on. Okay and away we go. And then what we're going to do as well is we're going to build a gathering post. I'm going to build that here. And when that comes online we'll I think we'll probably best run that shift actually. Might as well make use of the discontent it just caused. And what we're going to need to do as well is secure food. So we're going to go with a hunter's hut and a when we can afford it, a cookhouse. OK, 
Okay, so let's get some workers on that immediately. And checking the wood crates here. Okay, can we build the cookhouse? A bit short, almost there. Okay, now we can. So, next up is a cookhouse to cook warm, nutritious meals for people. And what we're going to do is when we can sign the next law, we're going to make sure that that unfortunately is soup. So discard that. And could not assign any citizens to work. Okay. Extended shift laws. Okay, so I'm going to open the book of laws and I'm going to get the soup law. It's going to make people a little unhappy, um, but it's rather something in your stomach than nothing, guys. So I'm going to sign these from the coal pile and have these assigned to here. Okay, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a couple of people off the steel wreckage because we need food more than we need steel right now. I hate soup all my life. It's been thin gruel and empty promises. I mean, these guys, they, they can't be British at all. Uh, soup is a pretty much a, a staple part of our diet. We love a good soup. I refuse to believe that that guy came from London. Okay, so we have 40 people still homeless. Okay, let's... Okay, so what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to build a medical post and also one tent. One of the issues that I had on my first playthrough was that everyone got sick, like pretty much my entire city was a city of sick people. So hopefully this will stop people getting as ill, at least for a little while. like to get someone else in that cookhouse, but we're okay enough with food at the moment. Sick absences. See, people are already getting sick from the cold. The problem is as well that this generator has like a heat range. And if you build too far out of it, people get cold. So I want to try and build a couple more tents as close to this heat radius as I can. Um, I'm out of wood. No, I'm not. Okay, so get on that. Okay, that building is not functioning because it requires raw food, which we only gather at night. Okay. Got plenty of coal. Um, it's wood that we seem to be struggling on a little bit, actually. Um, where are my woodworkers? Steel wreckage. Wood crates. I must have depleted the resource and I have not quite caught the notification that the resource has been exhausted. Another day, another shift. Okay, so I could probably build another group of tents in a moment. Okay. Let's keep people alive as best we can. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to start considering building the workshop. Actually, the, it, the prompt just came up there as well. That's precisely what I'm going to do. 
and we'll use that workshop to secure our tech and other bits and bobs and we'll put that okay I guess here hopefully it won't be too cold okay not five multiple problems requires workers well that's not an issue so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to get the hunter's gear sorted we need food as quick as possible and the dangers of the cold frostbite one of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite this will keep happening if people have to work in such cold okay I can't really do anything right now about that and what do you want? okay so when we'll, the gravely will be treated medical post but may undergo risky amputations as a result you must sign the extend life where is that? okay radical treatment okay so yeah we're going to go with radical treatment because if we go with sustain life people then become a burden upon the medical clinic and it takes a resource away from us that we're going to need okay what do you want Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout teams we'll send out. She urges you to hurry. I'll do my best, so what I'm going to do is, when the workshop has completed the faster gathering, I'm going to build the beacon. Yeah, I realise it's cold, guys, but there's not really an awful lot we can do about this. Okay, what may be best, actually, is if we try searching for coal first. Uh, the coal research as we will run out of that pretty quickly so what we need to do here is go to drawing board one we're doing okay for food we're doing okay for coal and wood and other things like that but we need to tech up pretty quickly to achieve uh, some sort of stability So I'm just taking an overview of what it is we've got going on here uh, before I figure out what it is I need to do next. Okay, so really we're doing kind of okay. People are sick again. Um, I don't even think I have these spare engineers, do I? I can find my medical post, I can... Okay, so I can actually build a medical post. I'm going to do that again. I... It's a bit irritating, but I need to keep as many people alive as possible. Let's make it through the day. There's ups and downs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, get on that. We need all our people alive and how are you doing okay so I have new research we're going to go immediately with the coal mining research here and that way we can sort of gain some independence from having to worry about shifting around all the time 
first amputation to save this patient's life we had to perform an amputation as a result this person won't be able to work consider signing the care house or prosthetics law okay I don't really have the resources to actually do that right now so with no negative effects I'm just going to say no and lo and behold our coal pile as if on cue has just depleted so what we'll do is we'll dismantle the building for the wood and we'll get rid of the street as well again and that returns some wood to us don't believe it's as much as you get to, from building it okay I can't really address this right now it's about to warm up a little bit I think there was a a warm up indicator there um, so right gathering post for more coal waiting for that wood to be returned to us as well sixteen people currently sick great just need the workers to actually go to work now which they are so we'll do that now So apparently we're one short, there we go. There's the one and let's get that going. Gentle hum of the PS4 in the background. Uh, coal mining research, fantastic. So let's immediately see if we can get something else on the go. We can't as we're again um, low on wood. It's going to be a recurring theme this isn't it right now so here's a coal deposit and what I'll do is I'll build a street in preparation okay now I won't need more wood okay um, off you go and I've got plenty of workers there as well what's your issue oh one of our people is facing death but he's still refusing amputation he keeps on screaming that he doesn't want anyone to touch his leg and he won't change his mind even though gangrene will kill him in a matter of hours this person will be left as an amputee this person will probably die okay so unfortunately for him I'm making this choice for him as if I let him be and he dies I will have to build a cemetery which will take from resources that we really do need right now so I'm afraid in this age of necessity my friend I'm removing your choice from you and take his leg 12 people in the infirmary down from 16 okay more stuff going off more sick beds needed oh man this happened the first time I played this game as well, just everyone got sick. Some of our people are concerned about the rising number of untreated sick. I mean, I really am trying my best to treat them here. So, I promise that one third will be treated. That's the best I can do right now. And... As I did, I would run out and I didn't see it. Nope, that's not the case. Not to sign any system to work. Night time again, the temperature's about to drop on day ten. And we're not looking great on food. It keeps on slowing down and it's not always clear why it does that. We should be grateful for what we have, we suppose. I mean you should be. The frozen apocalypse has killed almost everyone and here you are and you're complaining about your living conditions while still 
actually being alive, which is more than most of the world can say they are. Okay. People are complaining about the quality of food. They understand that times are hard and a full meal is a luxury. It is a luxury. But eating one from time to time makes a big difference for them. Is there a chance of that? You have three days to provide 80 standard food rations. I won't address this right now. Okay, so the standard food rations, I actually think I need to go to the cookhouse and change... Uh, can I change it? Let's just take a look. So right now they're making, right, standard meals, so... Five food rations from two raw food. Four food rations from two raw food. Okay, so the soup does allow you to stretch your food a little further, with the caveat being that people are unhappy to eat it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to build another hunter's hut. And with enough wood, what I can do as well is start preparing for our coal mine to go in. So there, there, and I believe that should be sufficient. I'm not going to research anything immediately unless something really sticks out range upgrade okay so this actually doubles the uh, the amount of coal that you use we're gonna research this because there is a little bit of sprawl going on now okay I just uh, apparently I missed that completely there not to 15 what's this okay oh right so, the problem I'm going to have here is that I'm going to have to take people off from one place to put it on another place. could really do more survivors, so maybe once I've done this coal mine I'm going to plant the beacon to find more survivors. A note of thanks. A note was left for the doctor who performed the amputation on the frightened patient. It reads, thank you. I was in terrible pain and blinded by fear. My choice would have doomed me. I may be without a limb now, but I'll live. Okay, so he wasn't too upset that I removed his choice for him. In normal times, I would have said, simply let him be. Uh, however, these aren't normal times. Things are getting cold. Wood crate's depleted, so let's look for the next wood crate resource. Steel wreckage. They were crates. And I'm assuming I can't yet build the coal mine. Incorrect. I can build the coal mine. So that coal mine can go there. Just use a steam core. You find those on expeditions. Once that's built. Are we operational now? Nope, still under construction. Okay, now completed. So what we'll do is we will finish that and get people working on the actual coal mine rather than the gathering post. And what that'll do as well is when it gets particularly cold, we'll have the ability to sort of grab from these coal mines here. Uh, well these coal fields, what are they called? Coal piles. We'll be able to grab from the coal piles as well as use the resources from the coal mine. More sick beds needed. Um, I promise the sick will be treated. Okay what I'm going to do as well is check our tech. That's not it. It's a big it's a taller building here. Okay, so that completed the um, request for more beds. Range upgrade. Okay. 
Well, let's get you on an emergency shift. I can afford the discontent a little bit. Because we need that generator range upgrade before people start complaining that it's getting pretty cold. Okay, there we go. So that generator range upgrade went on and immediately resolved one of the issues that we had. Let's start... Okay, do you know what, actually, I'm going to have a quick look around, see how we're doing for wood. So, wood, steel, coal, steel, Okay, so we are actually about to run out of wood. So what I am going to do is I'm going to use the workshop to research sawmills. Charcoal kiln, sawmill, okay. And then we can build that and place that over here and that will delay the inevitable uh, sort of requirements for building I think it's a wall drill you can build 10 people are hungry it looks like I lost someone um, we, one of our people died suddenly I did lose someone okay um, alright well, unfortunately we must make sacrifices to, to survive I'm afraid and now I'm going to have to build a cemetery and I think it's in people. A proper place to bury the dead. And then, thankfully, that doesn't require any workers. So, one of our men insists on living on the street. We've brought him to you so that maybe you can talk some sense into him. Look, sir, everything I've ever had, I've earned myself. I'll be damned if I take space under a roof when I have no way to pay for it. And since I've lost my hand, I can't work. So that's that. He turns to leave, but hesitates and sighs. There were homes for people like me in London. Okay, I'm afraid that there are bigger needs that we must meet at the moment. Normally I would build a care home for that. However, we don't have the luxury of choice right now. Three of five, what's going on here? Um, oh, okay, so we did actually lose an engineer, actually. Um, so what I want to do now is I want to get the beacon going. We're going to need those people soon. Uh, but with a sawmill built, I'll start a bit of prep work for that. So that should do. Cemetery has been established, hope rises, but so does discontent. Go over to resources and can we build that sawmill yet? Yeah, we can. Okay. Let's get on that straight away. As soon as that's built, what we're going to do is we're going to assign these to the sawmill. I think I might have just got... No, I did lose a, a coal pile there. Good, good. Okay, so next book of laws. Ceremonial funerals. Okay, this is an interesting one. So, you can put children in safe jobs. And what I could do here is I could enact this and put them in the cookhouse so that I can then assign those other people to other things, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So, let's get those out of there. And then assign these here. Okay, let's look at the next resource we're going to build. Okay, so what we're going to go with here is we're going to go with a wall drill or 
should we go with a bunkhouse? No, we'll go with a bunkhouse. And then what I need to do is assign the people who are on these wood crates here. Okay, so what that actually does as well is it frees up a few people for me too. And then if I just look around, I'm going to assign more people to other jobs in the city. I'm going to do a bit of prep work and put down another street. So like so. And that's going to be for the bunk houses. We have 12 people hungry at the moment. What's the problem? Okay, we'll try and feed everyone we can. Feed all the hungry 12. So two more people on the hunter's hut. Fifteen people in infirmaries again. Eighteen. And the temperature's going to rise a little bit, so that's going to ease off a little. Okay, something just happened there. Temperature went up a little. Uh, can I yet build the beacon? Short on steel. See if I've got people actually collecting steel. Well, I guess they're doing that job for today. I think it said I needed 25 steel. Okay, that's that. 35 steel. Okay. A child injured at work, a child got distracted at work and has been injured. Okay, so scold the kid for being careless. Okay, so I can now build bunk houses, which is what I'm going to do. kind of fighting with the controls a little bit at the moment. Sort of used to playing on PC at this point, so... Uh, but it was on a good deal on the PlayStation Store and I thought, ah, well, I, I like it and... I think I'd give it a go. So 29 people are homeless. Is that because I'm upgrading? Yeah, it's because I'm upgrading those. That did cost me some steel though that I was going to use for the beacon rather annoyingly. Um, I've got no workers available to collect more. So we're just going to have to wait, really. What's your problem? Alright, let's, let's hope rise a little bit. I don't really want to research anything else right now as I need the wood for the beacon. Do I have steel rolling back in again now? Almost everyone's been fed, one person hasn't been fed. Twenty people are now sick. Nineteen. Okay, almost got the right number of steel, but it's another... Uh, I mean, do these guys actually work at all? Twenty-one hours left on the... generator power. We should be okay till the morning. So I'm not going to enact any emergency law for that. As soon as you get to work, I can start with getting that beacon constructed. So 34, 35. Let's get the beacon on. And I'll place that there. I 
can't really afford double rations, I'm afraid. I'd like to, but I just can't. And the temperature's about to dip as well. Okay, I think I should have more engineers than this, so if I assign them to something... Medical posts, yes, because everyone's sick again. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I am sick of people being sick. Okay, so the beacon has been constructed and a nice little cutscene to show us that. Okay, so this is a point where we can now send people out, but I actually think that I need five citizens not doing anything, so we're okay for wood, so I'm going to pull a couple of people off that. I can't really afford to pull people off coal right now, um, or steel. Okay, so one of the main issues that I'm having right now is actually finding enough people to run that. So, it looks like I need one more person to come off doing something else. So, what's the gather rate? Okay, let's pull someone off that, just for the moment. Yep. Alright. If anything, we desperately need more engineers. More engineers is what we need. People chair as a giant observation balloon soars above the city. This is a real feat. Everyone feels proud of the work they've done to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up eager to go looking for our lost people in Frostland. The woman who came forward earlier is among them. We needed a win. And definitely now that the temperature is going to dip. So nine hours on the generator again. It's a constant battle to survive. A couple of people hungry, but otherwise no, not hungry. A couple of people ill. But is that nine? Seventeen people. Is that just a little bit sick and one person gravely sick? Oh no, not this guy. I think he's the one that comes here and basically says everyone's doomed. Ah, oh, he is as well. Okay. Uh, amazing. This guy with his last breath, he comes over and says, by the way, you're all going to die. <laughs> okay. I think this upsets people quite considerably as well. Yes, it does. They get very upset by the words of this one man. We should never have left Britain. We should have stayed in London. And that's such a big hit to hope there. Ah, oh, this is the part where you get to decide whether you choose faith or purpose, order and discipline, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go with order and discipline. And neighbourhood watch. This is an annoyance because I don't really have the people to do this. Um... Doctor wants to talk about improving radical treatments. I was a field surgeon in the Boer War and worked with the Royal Society to reduce the rate of limb loss in army hospitals. I believe I can devise a method that will cut the number of amputations during radical treatment. The engineer won't be able to work. Hope will rise. Hope will fall. Okay, I don't really need hope to fall any more than it has, so we will allow him a couple of days off at the expense of people getting sick to try and do what he needs to do. They want to flee the city for London in 15 days. They've come to try and change your mind. Okay, so this starts the Londoners' objective. 
Okay, so I think um, compared to my playthrough yesterday, I've made I may have made a mistake in not getting the beacon up sooner for more survivors. Because if anything, I'm really short on manpower right now. Um, so you're going to have to come to the city by yourself. And let's go to the sturdy shelter. So yeah, I wish I had. Um, I wish I got that beacon up sooner, as I'm really struggling with manpower right across the board. And that with this game, when you start struggling for manpower, you start struggling on everything else uh, as well. So your coal production, your wood production, and things like that. Speaking of wood production, just checking that we're okay. I can't really address this right now. I'm going to have to take the discontent hit here. My survivors do arrive in five hours, so that's going to be good for all these positions that could be filled and aren't currently filled. Actually, what I'm going to need to do is... Um, okay, so let's build a watchtower. I'm going to go to Watchtower here when I can, as that is one of our side objectives here. The generator is shutting down. Okay, so what I'm going to need to do is get these guys on an emergency shift. Get this generator back up again. Ah, okay, so our first survivors, our first convoy has arrived. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left in London long ago. Kind of getting a bit tongue-twisted there. They ought to be well established by now, and they'll surely help us find our footing. Okay, so let's just pause a moment and take stock of what it is we need to do. So, wood, food rations, steam cores. I'm going to take those, and... Right now, I don't need them desperately. So to the steel bridge. Few amputations. Sir, the doctor who is trying to improve radical treatment is here. He is reporting a breakthrough. Fantastic. It's certainly an unorthodox method, and my learned colleagues would be appalled at the experiments I had to perform, but it works. I expect the number of amputations during radical treatment to be halved. He seems eager to get back to his everyday work and try his new method. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Alright, so what do we have here? Uh, because the temp just... No, because the generator's down, so... Let's get the generator back up again. And... Okay, so... It's at 218 consumption a day. Alright, now with more survivors. So, let's get a watchtower built. Have they still not built that street? Or maybe. Maybe that was my mistake, perhaps. No, they've still not built it. I can get on that immediately. We've got 34 people we need to house. People join the Londoners. The people who want to leave for London have successfully urged their friends and neighbours to join them. People are more easily persuaded because they have little hope in our ultimate survival. I see. Okay, come on, hurry up and on, get on those streets. Six people are hungry. Okay, so the streets are built. So immediately we're going to go with our main... Uh, one of our objectives there, which is a watchtower, and then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to build a couple of bunk houses. So there's that. Looks like we're out of steel. Get on that. Okay, 
I don't think we got some engineers there. We did. Okay. Great news is we have some people that we can assign now. And then I will need to build another watchtower. I'm looking in the wrong place again. It's here. And it's a shame you can't build right next to the generator. That would make life a lot easier. Okay, so our scout team are done. What's the issue? Automaton. Oh yeah, these are great actually. So we're going to send this straight to the city. An automaton basically automates one of our essential services for us. So we are going to get on that straight away. Okay, a couple of things going off now. Okay, so I promise the sick will be treated. Um... Deserted bridge. Finding the bridge to Winterhome pro proved that we're on the right track, but raised questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automaton under the care of an engineer? There are log logical explanations to it all, but people are growing anxious. Hope falls slightly. We'll find out in Winterhome. Okay. Alright, well, I've got a few things that I need to be getting on with here. So, bunk houses. Okay, am I missing that? I am missing that ever so slightly. We're out of steel. How much was that? Ten. Okay. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to get a bit of research on here. And I'm going to research the wall drill. No, I can't. I don't have a steam core. My scouts currently have it. Okay. Alright, well, we're, we're doing alright. A bit low on food. Going to need to get a hunt, another hunter's hut going. Um, but for today, I'm going to call it time here. And um, if you like this kind of video, please don't forget to subscribe. And let me know if you want to see more of Frostpunk. I'm actually really enjoying this game at the moment. It's got quite a steep learning curve. Um... But even so, with it being on the PlayStation Store right now, a fiver, I could highly recommend it at that price all day, every day. It's a fantastic, very atmospheric game uh, that if you're into these kind of games, I think you're going to love. Stay tuned on my channel for another episode uh, where I try and beat this scenario on Frostpunk. I have no idea how long it's going to take me, judging by how many things uh, I'm currently short of. It could be a while, guys. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.